Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a message with UART. In order to do that, we should create a new project. Uh, let's wait. And select your MCU or board. Mine is STM32429. Next, the name you add. Next, uh, copy only the necessary library files. Finish. Yes. Here, the first step is to clear the pinouts. Then we should go to connectivity, select one of the UART, I go with four. In the mode section, it should be asynchronous. And let's go to configuration. Here you can see all the configuration and setting for UART. According to your device and project, you should adjust all of them. For my project, my baud rate would be 1152.00, board length 8 is OK, parity none, and stop bits 1. That's it. Let's go to clock configuration. PLL should be HSI 8. That's it. Uh, let's save it. Here, the first thing that we should do, we should go to drivers, uh, hard driver, source, and find out the source for UART. All right, here we see all the function. Uh, I want to transmit a message, so I use transmit. Here's the function. Copy it. Go to main.c. And code begin to. Press control and space. And this is my UART handler. Uh, since I'm using UART 4, it's 4. If you don't know how to choose this one, you should go here and you can see the, uh, the UART handler. And this is a variable. Copy it. The name could be anything. And since I'm going to send the character, I write character here and the character would be connected here I created a data or character to send this is the size of data that I'm going to send and this is the timeout that's all you have to do let's build it No errors. Uh, let's load it on the board. Go to the debug section. Since I'm using Esteling as a debugger, choose Esteling. Scan the board. OK. And now let's wait. Uh, 
and that's load successfully in order to see the data we should uh, use a terminal uh, I use Hercules you can download it from Google here you can see the port mine is connected to 6 and the baud rate should be same as what we have adjust here this number should be the same data size should be same and parity none mode is better to be free all right open it when you press a reset button on your board you will see the message and that's all you have to do about sending a message in UART in the next video, I will show you how to receive a message with UART. Stay with me.